Hey baby, think I'm gonna marry you. Today's a good day, it smells good, and there's our Uber driver. Hello, good sir. Hello. How are you doing today? Good man, Jay. So we just arrived at our first co-working space. This is where I'm gonna work from. That's where Jay's gonna work from. And that's where all the other people are gonna work from. They got all these cubicles. They got like a small common area. And then they got a small kitchen. And so we got the free day pass and we can stay here I think for now six hours. So we're gonna work in up from six hours. So some of you people might might be already able to tell that one of the things I don't do is eat gluten. And I don't have a gluten intolerance. I just decided to not eat gluten because there are actually studies that show that gluten are not good for you because gluten is a protein that doesn't really properly get digested by humans. Some digest it very badly, which is gluten intolerance, but no one really digests it. So I try to avoid. But today we went for lunch to a place to eat and they had a menu and on it it said it said it had I think like a rump steak and like cheese and like gherkins and so I think oh my god this looks amazing let me order it so I ordered it and it turns out to be a fucking burger so then I was like okay I have two choices right now I have three choices right now I can like just say like okay no I don't actually want that food I want different food which is the douchebag move so I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna bring back the food and get something else I could just eat the burger but without the bread but then I'm like that will never ever fill me up and I'm hungry right now so I decided okay you know let's you know eat the burger I, I freaking love burgers I love the taste of bread so let me just eat it so I ate it and my theory just again got confirmed because I just want to take a nap right now and that's a feeling I never ever want to have wanting to take a nap I oh, know gluten gluten makes you feel drowsy do you know that feeling when you eat food and afterwards you just want to take a nap yeah, that's usually stuff that's not so good. That it doesn't always have to be gluten. That's also sometimes sugar. That's also not bad for you. Uh, that's also bad for you, by the way. Um, but yeah, I mean, luckily we just took an Uber back to our Airbnb, so I could sleep a bit on the Uber, and that was actually the most beautiful thing ever because I don't have internet on the Uber anyway, so I can do anything productive on the Uber anyway, and I could just open the window and just like, uh. But I'm still tired and so that's why I never eat gluten and that's why I think you should at least consider not eating gluten or try to not eat gluten maybe it's not the gluten maybe it's something else if you want to be productive right like if you want to optimize on eating the most amazing tasting food then go ahead and eat gluten because gluten tastes fucking amazing let me tell you I freaking love the taste of gluten but if you want to optimize on being productive and getting shit done and minimizing the amounts where your energy goes down and you just want to take a nap, then don't fucking eat it. Rant out. I just got off with a call that um, I haven't met before, but he he saw the video um, he saw the video of my visa denial and that was the first video he saw of me and he said that he never saw someone share something bad or share a failure on social media and that he was really refreshed by it and that he saw something in me that he could relate to and so he, he reached out and, and just wanted to you know get to know each other and, and he offered me help with, with my situation which is obviously like extremely generous but for me that again just repeatedly showed how valuable valuable it is to share 
the good and the bad to share your failures to share when bad stuff happens because I I still don't cognitively are able to process how people are not posting bad stuff happening because we all know that we all fail right you know you fucked up before you know I fucked up before we all know everyone else has fucked up before and right now we're just in a place with social media where everyone's trying to portray themselves in the best positive light because they can right like if you're not in the like close like like directly involved in someone's life and you're able to experience their failures if they never ever talk about it on social media you don't know that they're there but let me tell you that these talk for me personally this right now personal experience always has been being real and and sharing the good and the bad and sharing men when my visa got denied that always created the biggest opportunity because Number one, it's a white space, so you're gonna stand out by doing it. But number two, that's how people connect with you. They're not gonna connect with you because you just told them something amazing where you where you're portrayed in this like incredible light. That those are not the people we we wanna become friends with. It's those people we can relate to. And so please, please, please at least consider from now on share the good stuff and if there's more good stuff happening than the bad stuff even better but also please consider talking about whenever something bad happens because you don't believe how well it will be perceived <clears throat> i decided it was time to go on a walk for for the first time in a long while. I mean, not going for a walk, but being alone. Because, you know, one of the things, if you always have a J around, is that you always have a J around. And I feel like there are, there are certain thoughts that can only happen in a pure in a pure setting of, of 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 pure isolation where you don't feel like being observed Just thinking about this i realized that you want to be alone with your thoughts because you're the only person who understands yourself fully truly because like no matter how good you are at communicating your thoughts to the outside world and providing the right context to the right person so they understand it in the way that you do in your head no matter how good you are at that there will always always be this certain there will always be a difference at how well no one will ever understand your thoughts as well as you do and so if you're not spending time alone with your thoughts and either always try to communicate them to other people because before you actually communicated to them to yourself then you're getting feedback on something that you don't even fully digest it yourself right i don't know so i think there needs to be a certain I guess digestive process where we are alone with our thoughts and only once we communicated back and forth these thoughts with ourselves we can go out into the world and do our best to try to bridge the gap between other people's understanding and our thoughts or other people's understanding of our thoughts and our actual thoughts don't try to bridge that gap too early that will mess with your thoughts if you think about it damn that was deep 
And also thinking about this, I'd love to spend more time thinking about my thoughts now. But I have a consulting call now, which I gotta do. So enough thinking about my thoughts. Now it's thinking for other people. Whatever, I'm gonna do the consulting call. Hey guys, as you could tell from the, well, from the vlog that today was not a very fascinating day. So we're compensating that by having a fascinating, you know, night by eating some, you know, some muesli and listening to some Beyonce. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. So we actually did some laundry today also um, and worked and that was basically our day. So like and subscribe. See you tomorrow. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up.